Hi, my name is Johan de Toy. I'm the co-founder of Get Me Known, which is a national microchip database featuring everything from dogs to horses, and where we look at patterns on that data to then better understand how these records are spread out across the country. Today I'm going to be talking about how we use BigQuery to get insights from data that's constantly being streamed in from across the country on records from pets to farmers. Right, so Get Me Known was founded about three years ago, coming from a family that's passionate about animals. We were registering when we had to fill in free forms, so we decided that's not how we want it, and we built a company where you can go to websites, fill in all your details, and it assigns a certain number to your information. So if a pet gets lost, stolen, is found somewhere, you've got a record that links it to you and they can contact you and get your little guy home. So users use the service by actually going to the website, signing up, filling in the data. That data is then stored in the back end, which we stream to BigQuery, where we look at data get, to get some insights. So I see this being used in almost every organization. In this day and age, we've got data coming in from every side, every angle, and every piece of your business is going to be producing some metric which you can look at. And BigQuery is essentially where we're aggregating all this and looking for patterns. So what sales are doing good, what records are not coming in, where are you actually getting data from, and just looking for patterns to grow your business. So we use BigQuery to essentially look at all our sales data, where we look for patterns, where they're coming from and how much. We tend to lay this out in a nice heat map, so you can actually, by one glance, see where your business is taking off and where you need to put more pressure on to, to push sales in a certain region. So Get Me Known in itself is just a website where anyone can go to to get data about a microchip on a dog or cat or horse that they found and get the contact information to speak to the breeders. We also partner with all of the local databases that are also running so you can get information if we don't, might not have it. So the idea is you'd log in and you would use your account that you have set up with us, and you'd have a list of microchips. So these are all registered to your name, and they pipe their data into a backend, which where we keep a big log of all the changes happening on all of these records. So we can actually go back and look at when the chip was registered, when the name was changed, when the owner might have changed, how long the owner has been the owner, and print a certificate. So that would be the front end to what we call the back end service, which we actually use. And that pipes into this big record set where we keep all this information and look for patterns. So using BigQuery, we've got a schema of all these records where we can actually go run popular queries on this then. So we might want to look at uh, breed, color, and popularity. So if I run that, you'll see this year Rottweiler and Black and Tan combined were the most popular. And then if you go a step, a step back and look at maybe flagged records. Flagged records are records that you give an extra piece of information about the police case or who to contact if the pet is found. So these would essentially be stolen cattle, dogs, cats, and we can actually go look at where they were stolen, what city, when. So using this information in the back end, we can then look at hotspots. So we know which areas of, say, Johannesburg and Pretoria are known for getting pet lost or stolen, and we've got a certain error rate, but when that hits, we call and notify external services about these locations and give them the top 10 records that actually just tell them something's going on and to have a look. And we do this nationwide. Uh, this data I got by looking at our main record set and pulling out a limited amount from BigQuery and then just rendering it using Google Maps.
Yeah, so this is a smaller data set that I took just to show you distribution and how we use BigQuery to pull this out. And we internally maybe look at only South Africa and pull out details from South Africa and look at certain cities. So say we want to look at anything in Cape Town or Johannesburg or Pretoria. But using this and small little utilities that we write, we can map out our data and see where our customer base is and where we need to look at to help ease local problems. Thanks. And that's how we use BigQuery and the insights we get from it to get pets home safe.